Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to look up a value to the left. Most of the time when lookups are done, we are looking up a value uh, to the right of the value that we're looking up. So, for example, uh, we have a lookup, maybe we're looking up, we have ID here, but let's say pretend we're looking up a name. We're looking up Tom and we want to look up a value to the right of it. Uh, maybe we want to look up the ID and it would be 116. Uh, an example would be like a VLOOKUP. If we do a VLOOKUP and we're looking up the value of uh, in this cell, right? And I'll put the name in there. And the table array we have here, and we're looking at the third column, which is ID, and we want an exact match zero. And I'm going to put the, the name Tom here, and you'll find that we have 116. So basically, it's looking up values to the right. But VLOOKUP is an example of a lookup uh, function that won't be able to, by itself, uh, without any workarounds, look up values to the left. Uh, I have another video that talks about how to do VLOOKUP and looking up using the choose function to look up a value to the left, and you can go ahead and search that. But here's another example of how we can use uh, a lookup functions, the index and match, to look up values to the left. So for example, maybe I have an ID. I'm just going to put an ID, maybe 140 here. And we, let's look up the ID of this person, and we want to find the name, Nancy. So to do that with index and match, all I need to do is type index, and I want to look up, I want to result back a range or a value in a range here from A2 to A10. That's the array I want to bring back. Now, and I want, now I want to do is I want to match, and I'll go ahead and type in, uh, type tab to open that parentheses there. I want to match this value uh, based on the lookup array here, and uh, from C2 to C10, the ID is here and I want to have an exact match. So this combination of index and match will look up a value to the left. So if I press enter, whoops, I, have to cut that. I forgot to put in that uh, last parentheses, and Excel smartly identified that, and it did it for me. So I'll go ahead and click yes, and now I have Nancy here. So if I wanted to get uh, a wing, which, which is 172, it looked up wing. So that's how you can look up a value to the left. Now, if we want to take a look and see how it actually does a step-by-step, -step, we can go into the Formula Evaluator. I can go into the tab, uh, the Formulas tab here, go under Evaluate Formula, and I'm going to evaluate the formula. I'm going to go ahead and click Evaluate, and it's, it was looking at F2, and it brought back the value 172. Next thing it's going to do is it's going to look at the value C2 to C10, and it looked there, and it, it brought back the eighth record. So one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, which is that one. Now it's going to look in the range of the array here, this array, and bring back the eighth value there. And it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and it'll bring back win. So if I click evaluate again, we have wing there. Let me go ahead and close this. So that's how it exactly works. So that's how you can do a look up to the left and using the index and match function. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.